Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install Temple OS. Um, there's a lot of history that goes back with this that, honestly, if you're installing this, you probably understand that, uh, I think his name is Terry Davis, he's schizophrenic, uh, it's, I think God told him to write the operating system, and a lot of other details. I'm not going to go too much into that, we're just going to keep to the installation. There's a lot of other videos that go into Terry that you can check out, but <clears throat> here's a actually get the thing installed. You're going to want something like VirtualBox. Uh, you could use VMware or what's the other one? Key, QEMU or I, some kind of virtualization software. You go to templeos.org, go to the file downloads, and you're going to want the TOS, TempleOS Distro ISO. And I already have that, but let's just download it and <clears throat> do this fresh for the video. I'm not quite sure what these supplemental ISOs do as of yet. It downloads very quickly. You're going to want to do new. <clears throat> I'm going to call this Temple OS. Type other version other 64 bit. It's very important that you click 64 bit. I think I read that it requires 2 gigs of memory. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Virtual hard disk. Don't care. Don't care. 2 gigs should be fine. This isn't a very big operating system. Let's go ahead and start it. Temple OS distro. Um, we could use the ISO I just downloaded. Let's boot that up. <clears throat> now, of course, this isn't going to stretch. Let's do scaled mode. There we go. Okay. So here we are, Temple OS, the installer. Now, if you get in here, you can see you have a strange... Uh, Strange pointer there, uh, as if anything else is conventional here. You can actually drag windows just like this, and I believe, probably can't resize this one. Oh, you can. So if you grab the edges, <clears throat> you can resize a lot of windows. It looks like this one's forcing this size, but that's just a pro tip into using this operating system. This X in the corner will let you go ahead and close a window. That's nice to know. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure what this is. What the purpose of this is maybe messing around, but this left window is the one you're going to want. This is the actual installer. Install into hard drive, yes or no? We're going to go ahead and say yes. Second question: Are you installing inside VMware, that one I can't pronounce, or VirtualBox? Yes, yes we are. It's normal for this to freeze. Press any key, and then we get a whole bunch of like. Uh, super matrix future stuff going on. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that is, but uh, looks pretty sweet. It's definitely very creative. So this is the installation. It's actually uh, incredibly fast, and it's already done. So reboot, yes. <clears throat> now this might be a little confusing because when it reboots, it reboots back to the installer. Well, why did it do that? Let's go ahead and power this off, and I'll show you why. If I can get the damn power off machine. So the reason it did that is because in the settings, if you go to the storage, this is still in the virtual optical drive. So it's still booting to disk. So we want to remove that disk, go ahead and start up our virtual machine once more. And it's not going to scale because uh, why would it? Here I always uh, do one, drive C, uh, zero doesn't seem to do anything. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Scaled switch. So here we are. That's pretty much it. That's how fast you can install Temple OS. Um, I might go more into uh, how to actually use this in other videos as I figure it out myself. I am definitely not an expert. I just find this a very interesting endeavor. So that's how you do it. Hope this helped you. See you later. Oh, I didn't actually stop recording. <laughs>